happening? We're leaving Ireland. I'm emigrating. Let's go to London. I can't believe we're here. I can't believe we're here. We are, you and me, living in London. Like, look at my view right now. We, we love her. We love her so much. Officially moved in like a day and a half ago, I would say. And I needed, I need a minute. I need a minute. I forgot how overwhelming it is to move. There's so much to it. You get in the door after traveling, you're absolutely wrecked. You've been traveling carrying big, massive, heavy bags. And then you're like, okay, now I need to go out and do a food shop. I have to get a duvet. I have to get all these random little bits. So it takes a lot out of you. And then I was getting adjusted into my new room, which I love. This house is so nice. Basically, it just took me a minute to settle and I'm already so happy. I'm so happy. Okay, so we have a lot to catch up on, you and me. I didn't post on YouTube for like three and a half weeks there because once I realized I was moving to London, I really wanted to enjoy like my time at home, my time with family. So I moved alone. So I'm here alone, but I have a boyfriend and we're still going out. So there has been questions and we're still in love. Don't worry. I've had it in my head. If you have chatted to me like in person over the past, I'd say three years, I've always had it in my head that I've wanted to live in London always but it was kind of always like a pipeline dream or it was like maybe maybe i'll live in london oh this phone moving is gonna wreck my head it was like maybe i'll live in london when i'm older maybe it'll be for a big massive stint with friends with peter i wasn't sure but i knew it was always gonna be I, I knew i always wanted to do it and then when myself and peter were here in september october do you remember when i like showed you around that trip peter turned to me when we were having breakfast and he was like you need to live here and i was like I know. And he, I was like, do, do you need to live here? And there's just lots of stuff going on with Peter in regards to his work and like football and stuff. So he is at home and I'm here. And you know what? I think it's actually just so nice. I feel like I'm on my little adventure. So how did it all come about? Well, a friend on Instagram put up that she was subleasing her room for three months. And I was like, what's the situation here? And honestly, I'd say within three days, I was moving to London. It was so quick. It was like not planned at all. It was just, I saw her story, just worked out. It's kind of ideal for me because I've wanted to move to London, but I'm also kind of was afraid to move to London. The thought of it being just three months made me feel very settled, especially since if you've been here this time last year, I tried to move to Mexico and that lasted about six weeks. So I was a bit afraid to relocate again and then like get cold feet and leave. So it was just perfect the way this all worked out. I hope you don't mind, we're just debriefing real quick. Also, are we not obsessed with my pajamas? I forgot to bring pajamas when I came here. So I went out to H&M, got them yesterday and I think they're so cute. Pink silk pajamas. Goodbye, so bougie. So what's the plan you're asking? Ideally, I get a really good job. That is the an ideal world. If I can land myself a good job, I'll be a happy girl. I was working freelance for ages. Then I started working in-house in spots at home. And I just kind of like the idea of working in a big creative sector in-house full time. Give it my best shot. So that's kind of what my aim is. So today I'm actually going to a coffee shop. I'm going to sit down and like look for jobs properly, put a lot of effort into my CV all that kind of stuff and I have to explore in the area. So went to Sainsbury's my first day I was here and got like all my stuff. And on the way there, I walked by Gales. And if you know me, I love Gales. I'm a sucker for Gales. Look at my new duvet cover. Oh, we have to show you around the whole room, but we're not gonna do that now because we have to go out, but we'll do it later. I'm just so glad I took the leap and came here. I'm actually so proud of myself. If you don't know already, I moved to New York like uh, four years ago, maybe now at this stage. Oh my God. Yeah, oh my God, nearly four years ago. And I went on my own as well. And I genuinely think it was the best thing I ever did. Moving here is actually reminding me so much of like my first couple of weeks in New York. You and me weren't friends back then. We didn't hang out. I wasn't making videos. 
it was a big time in my life and it, I feel like this is a big time in my life again. Moving out and doing this kind of thing is hard but it's just the feeling you get is so rewarding and um, I'm having like the same nostalgic feelings I felt when I first moved to New York and those same like butterfly baby feelings so like I feel like a little baby here I feel like I don't even know what's going on but it's like the cutest thing because I'm like learning everything for the first time again I've been living at home for like the past year and I traveled loads last year but I was living at home with my mom and I felt anyway everything everything back in my hand it was same old same old so comforting actually loved living at home and found it really hard mentally to think of leaving my comfort zone because everything was just so lovely you just go for a sea swim go for a walk with your dog meet your boyfriend for a coffee go back home make dinner everything was just so nice and cozy and perfect honestly um but as my dad always says your comfort zone is the graveyard for ambition I think that's what it is. He's going to message me now and say that you um, actually misquoted me. But basically, I think this was the right thing for me to do. I'm like a little content little butterfly. There's memories from when I first moved to New York that are like all coming up again. And I had actually forgotten about them. It's those feelings of like the first time you meet a friend and knowing they're going to be like a friend for you. I remember meeting like Emily Bosaid, Addy, Swald, Mia, all these girls and like within the first conversation being like, I love them. And I, I feel that already with my housemate. Guys, I love her, I love her. Eva, if you're watching this, I love you. And I'm just so excited. Honestly, this is probably the same feeling people get when they live at home, like even just in their hometown, but I'm just having it like times 10 maybe because it's a new city too. And I love this city. I haven't talked to you guys in so long that it actually feels weird, like talking again. I actually kind of forget. How to talk. <laughs> you swear I was gone for a year? Honestly? Totally got out of the groove there. Totally. So apologies for that. My favorite thing that came out of my time in New York was definitely the friends I made. It's just so fun to meet up then in a different city that I've just moved to. I used to live with Sarah in Chinatown in New York. We had a hell of a good time. So many good memories. And Sarah is from New Zealand but moved to London at the start of summer. And we met tonight in Chinatown, London for soup dumplings, which is what we used to always do as well. Oh, she's an icon. But I'm home now. Got myself a little sleep tea. You actually can't beat. I know, I know I'm Irish, I'm supposed to love like berries and lion's tea, which I do, but it makes my stomach sore. Blasphemous. So I'm a herbal tea girly and you just can't beat twining sleep tea. There's something about it. I have such a cute little setup going in my bedroom now. Ah, scald my knuckles. Ah. So I'll show you the situation up there now. It's kind of cute, got some candles. Candles are the main thing you need to make a room homely. Candles are nice bedspread. I got a jewellery stand as well because we've got some cute jewels from Gab's Look. Flex.
good morning. We are doing admin bits today. I just want to get things sorted. I don't want to leave things on the long fingers. So Irish can work in the UK, no problem, even though Brexit happened because there's an agreement with Irish people. Thank the Lord, they gave us something. But you do need to get a national insurance number to work in the UK. So I'm getting that now. Just off a call to book an appointment. It's actually in three weeks, so that's not too bad. I really want to join a gym, but financially, I'd rather join the gym once I have a job. Um, Because, you know, the price difference in regards to gyms, if I'm stuck financially for a little while, I'd only be going for a gym that's 60 bucks a month. So I'm just trying to figure out what works best because... Guys, you know I love a sauna, so I would really love a gym that has a sauna. One closest to me that has a sauna is 55 a month, but there's plenty of options that are like 25 a month, 30 a month. They just are much more basic. And I'm just trying to figure out what's the best thing to do. So a little bit of admin bits today. It's lashing rain outside. I did kind of want to go for like a wander around the city center, take you around and do cute bits, maybe go to a nice cafe, but when it's raining like that, I don't really want to be wandering around. But I was thinking, rainy day, museum. Let's say I get a job in a week. Fingers crossed. I can't just be popping off to museum midweek. So might as well utilize this time. Should be utilizing this time trying to get a job. But I have done bits this morning, so I'm convincing myself it's okay. I actually live quite close to the Tate, I think. 13 minutes to get there. Happy days. Free admission. Free admission. Is that weird? I feel like the museum in Dublin is free. And I'm getting confused now because I'm thinking of like the Florence museums, which are so expensive. Mm, this is a great activity. It's free. Okay, brilliant. We're going to the museum. thing going to a museum always just makes me so happy just wandering around a little alone time gorgeous paintings i just feel really relaxed now i think i just want to go home go onto my laptop and just have our chocolate i think that's the vibe tonight i have an exciting few days ahead meeting some people friends over from ireland meeting friends that are living here it's gonna be all go i'm really i'm really happy i'm really happy guys thank you so much for joining along on my little journey make sure to subscribe we're making a nice little community here and love you lots. See you next week. <laughs>